Here I want to show you how you can move, copy, cut, and paste your data. And don't let the title of my video, like all other videos, fool you thinking, yeah, I already know the copy and paste thing, because I like to add extra tips, tricks, and shortcuts that I learned over the years to help you become more proficient in Excel. And so having said that, if you already know how to copy and paste, watch the video anyways and see if you can learn something new. So to get started, I want to insert a formula here that's going to, or a function actually, that will add up the range for this employee, the sales that they made from January through April. So to do that, below the label for this column totals, I'm going to go ahead and come up here, click on the formulas tab, go to the function library group, and click on the auto sum. It shoots out and wants to include the employee ID, so I'll just instead click and drag to select the new range, the sales of January through April. And you can see the sum function. And there's the range C6 through F6, hit enter, and there we go. Now, if I want to include that same function with these other rows here, I mean, I could come up here and click on auto sum again for that row and then for the next one. But another way to do it that might be more proficient for you is you can go ahead and select the cell, as we learned in an earlier training video, and you can either copy and paste the formula, or function in this case, to the other cells, or you can use the autofill handle which when you have the cell selected that contains the function, hover over the bottom right hand corner over that little, I don't know if you can see it, that green box. When you do it and you get a black cross, there's the autofill handle. You can go ahead and click and drag it down, let go, and automatically copies and pastes the formula into the next cell relative to that new row, because if it was absolute, it wouldn't update and it would stay in the same row with the same reference and you'd have the same number, 1599, 1599, 1599. So we'll go over that in a later training video about absolute and relative references. And in this case, we're grateful that it's relative. So that way, when I go down to the next cell, you can see up here, it updates it to the new row, row 7, and that would be row 8 and row 9. Now you can do it that way, or let me click and drag and delete it. You can also copy and paste, go ahead and select it. And there's numerous ways to copy. You can right-click on it in the shortcut menu, go to copy. Or let me click off. You can also use the shortcut keys, Control C on the keyboard, or go to the Home tab and the clipboard group and click on the Copy button. And you can see in the pop up, Control C. Click Copy, you get the marching ants around it to say, OK, this is the active cell that is in copy mode. And when you're ready, go ahead and select another cell that you'd like to paste that formula therein. And so to paste it, you can do it basically the same ways right click and you get your paste options most of which we'll cover in a later training video, but there's the simplistic paste option, and that will actually paste in the formula as opposed to just the values. So if I paste the value, it's going to paste the result of the formula and not include the formula. So if I go ahead and come back here, you can see when I hover over, look up here in the formula bar, when I hover over the first paste option, it includes the formula. You see that? The function, I mean. Well, okay, formula too. I sometimes refer to them as formulas. In any case, it's a function. And then over here, the values. You see just the value, the result of the function? So if you want that and you don't want the function in there, then go ahead and paste values. And then you get other options that we'll cover later on. So you can go ahead and click Paste there, or you can come up, let me click off, come up here on the Home tab, click on the Paste button there, click on the drop down arrow, get more paste options. That includes pasting just the values and not the formula. Or you can paste it, just the formatting, if you had formatting that you wanted to paste and not include the formula or the values or paste it as a link. So that way, whatever you do in this cell here, it'll update the other cell because that cell will be linked to that cell. And then you can also insert it as a picture. And then the other one is as a linked picture, which means that any changes you make in the original cell, it'll update that picture over there. Of course, once it's a picture, you can't make any changes to it because it's static. The only way it's gonna be dynamic is if you go back to the cell that it's linked to and make changes therein. So let's keep it simple. Let's just paste it. Control V as in Victor, the shortcut keys on the keyboard, and it paste. And then, of course, after you paste it, if you're like, ah, oh, I wish I would have chosen another option. Well, after you paste it, you get that little smart tag. You can click to open it up and choose your other options and actually choose your picture here, either linked or just as a picture. Click on it, and now it's a picture. Click off and click on it, and it selects it as a picture and not as data within a cell. Let me go ahead and hit undo. That will save me. Now it's still in copy mode. So not only can you copy and paste that into an adjacent cell, but if you have more than one cell, you can click and drag and select the range. And if you have other cells that are nonlinear, not next to each other, like I want that same function not only available for the camp gear 
for each employee there to get the totals, but I want it also for the one in UK to get the employees in the UK, their totals there using the sum function. Then hold down the control key and click and drag. And you can see that I got a nonlinear selection. Dragged it, and then hold down the control key, click and drag. And then all I have to do is go ahead and do control V as in Victor to paste. And hey, there you go. Isn't that fun? Well, let's double check to make sure it did what it's supposed to do. It's got the sum function, but we've got to have relative reference to be able to update it relative to its new position. So the row here is 6. What's it going to be down here? Well, there you go, 16. So if I select the cell here that contains the function, it's the same function, but it update it relative to the new position, which is row 16. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the escape key and get out of this uh, copy mode so the marching ants aren't around that cell. Next, how about instead of copying and pasting, we actually move. So, for example, I got the totals here. What if I want the totals for the months, like January, so I want to put the label here. You can go ahead and type in the label totals here, or you can just go ahead and copy and paste it, which we learned how to do. But how about if we go ahead and select the cell, hover over the border of it, click and drag it, and put it over here. We'd say, well, wait a second. If you move it, then we won't have the totals over there. True, but if I hold down the control key, now watch my pointer. When I hold down the control key, you see how it converts it, makes it a little bit longer, and you get a plus sign next to it? That means it's in copy mode. So when I let go, it doesn't move it, it actually made a copy of it. So if I come down here and do the same thing, select it, click and drag, and I let go, and I forgot to hold down the control key, it actually moved it. Which, congratulations, you know how to move it by clicking and dragging. Hit undo. You can also move blocks of information here, or data, by hovering over your selection, get the four-way arrow, click and drag, and move it somewhere else. Okay. Well, because it can't squeeze everything in there, the E means there's extra. So let's go ahead and hit undo. And you'd have to make that column wide enough to be able to view all the numbers. And so cool, now we can see them. So let's go ahead and select it here, hold down the control key, click and drag the border of it. And there we go, we got a copy of the totals there. Now, in addition to moving, copying, and pasting, you also have cut and paste. And so if I want to be able to cut a cell, it means it removes the entire contents of the cell, puts it on the clipboard, and it waits for me to go ahead and paste it somewhere else. Whereas copying leaves a copy of it, or leaves the original, and allows me to paste a copy of it somewhere else. So we can go ahead and right-click on it, and go up to the pair of scissors to cut, and it puts the marching ants around it. So how can you tell if you copied or cut it? It doesn't tell you. The only way to find out is hit the escape key and try it again and then make sure you remember if you clicked on cut or copy. So if we do cut there or you can use the shortcut keys, control X, or you can come up here on the home tab to the clipboard group and there you go. There's the scissors or control X. So if I go ahead and click on it, marching ants, when I right click somewhere else, I get my paste options up here, so I can go ahead and paste it. And there's a preview of it before I actually click on it. And I can go, oh, yeah, that's where I want it. That's fine. Click on Paste. Or click on Paste in the clipboard group. Or you can use the shortcut keys, Control V as in Victor, to paste it. OK, let's go ahead and come up here and hit Undo. And it's still in the cut mode. Hit the Escape key. The other thing you can do is you can copy and cut entire columns or rows. So for example, if I scroll up and I want to copy or cut column H, Hover over the column header, H, and you can see an arrow pointing down. You can go ahead and right-click on it. When you right-click on it, it does a couple of things. It selects the entire column, and it gives you the shortcut menu where you can go ahead and cut or copy it. Of course, if you copy it, it gets the marching ants around it. And then if you want to put in column K, right-click on the column K header and go ahead and insert the copied cells. And there you go. Let's go ahead and hit Undo. What about cut cells? Let's right-click and go ahead and this time cut it. And if I want to go ahead and let's do it over column E. If I right click on that, will it paste it over the entire column? No, you can actually insert the cut cells when you click on it. Well, it pushes everything over, but it gives me a warning because, let me click OK, because the cell references are coming back in on itself. So where it says it wants to give us the total of C6 through G6, click on it and it includes the total and it's like, that's freaky because to get the total, you got to include the total or the function here. In any case, keep that in mind, and it doesn't make sense, but you can go ahead, at least for the cut and copy purposes of the training video, select entire columns. Let's go ahead and hit undo so we don't get into that issue and have those problems. Hit the escape key, but also you can do it for rows. 
So if you want to go ahead and click and drag two rows and right click on the selection in the row header, either row 12 or row 13, they're both selected. You can go ahead and copy or cut it. Click on copy. And let's go ahead and do this. If I right click on row 7 and I want to insert the copied cells, it's going to push everything down too because I have two that I got copied. So it looks at this and it goes, oh, even though you just have one row, we have two rows that have been copied, so I'll push this down twice. Let's go ahead and insert the copy cells, and there you go. Broke it up, so we've got employee up here, and the other three down here broken up by our title and the date. Let's go ahead and hit undo. Click off, hit the escape key, and then finally I want to go over the clipboard feature, whereas if you've got more than one thing you want to copy from the same place here, so I want to select the range, copy it, and paste it over here or another part of the worksheet or another part of the workbook like sheet 2 and I want to do a lot from this area not just one big glob here but different parts of it you can imagine how annoying that would get if I have to select it copy it come over here paste it select this copy it come over here and paste that or more to the point on a different worksheet bouncing back and forth how annoying instead how about if we go ahead and use the clipboard feature that's found up here on the home tab there's a clipboard group Go ahead and click on its expandable dialog box button. When you do that, there it is. It allows you to copy more than one item. So when you're in an area that you want more than one of these items copied, but not linearly, separately, so like this range here, Control C to copy it, adds it to the clipboard. And if I want to copy that, copy it, and let's say I want to cut it, Camping Gear US, when I cut it, it's not going to remove it because the clipboard's open. When I go to another part of the worksheet to paste it, it'll still be there. So the clipboard overwrites the cut options, so you might as well not cut it. Just use the copy, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And let's go ahead and do the range here and copy. In other words, I'm just adding a bunch of things to my clipboard. So that way, when I have to go to another part of the worksheet or the workbook, I don't have to bounce back and forth because I have everything here that I wanted. Up to, it contains 24 items. And the clipboard feature is a Windows operating system thing. So if you open up another application like Microsoft Word, it'll be available there. But I'm moving ahead of myself. Let's just go ahead and focus on this other worksheet where I can go ahead and select a cell and click on the item that I want to paste. Great. There you go. Come over here. Click on that to paste it. And Camping Gear US was cut, right? So when I go back to Sheet 1, it's still there. So it ignores it, doesn't actually cut it just considers it as being copied. So if I go back to sheet 2, I can go ahead and select a cell and say paste all. And it pastes all. Well, it doesn't look pretty, but it pasted all of them. And then I can go ahead and clear it all and go back to sheet 1 and pick up if I need more than 24 items because, again, it only picks up 24 items and copy another 24 and be able to go back to sheet 2 or other parts of the workbook to paste. And then finally down below you do get the options. You can click on it to see what's available. And by default it's going to show both the office clipboard icon on the taskbar and the status near the taskbar when copying. You don't have to see that. You can uncheck it. You can also collect without showing the office clipboard because without the office clipboard, when you close it and you copy like February and you paste it and then you copy March and you paste it, well if I continue to paste, 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 it's only going to paste the most recent copy which was March not everything before. So if I want to collect it as I'm copying without seeing the clipboard, well, then you got to open up the clipboard here and click on the options and say collect without showing the office clipboard. You can show the office clipboard when you hit control plus C twice and you can also show it automatically. Your flavor, go ahead and choose what works best for you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.